Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to explore how to integrate the OS Wi-Fi blinds from Osmart Things with Home Assistant using the Tuya integration component. My name is Janaka Rangama and I'm an avid home automation enthusiast. Now, in this video, what I'm going to explore is how I can leverage the um, Wi-Fi blind controller I got from Osmart Things and use it with Home Assistant my home automation system. So without further ado, let's dive in to the unboxing and the setup procedure. There are a couple of things inside the box. So it comes in a neat package from osmartthings.com.au. Thanks to Callum and his team for sending this test unit uh, for this video. And uh, you see the specification there. You have the height marking template, the instruction sheet, the 3M sticker, the actual unit, and the support hook on top of which you're gonna attach this unit, the power cord, the, the screws, and couple of cog wheels for different different types of beads, uh, bead chain controllers that is out there. So that's what is inside the box. Now once you unbox this thing, um, you're gonna mark the height for the support hook with the attached template. Um, you have to make sure that it's um, tightened enough so it's there should be enough uh, tension and mark the correct position for the support hook and then you have to either use screws or the 3m stickers to mount it so in this video i've just used the 3m sticker and pasted it over there but i found it uh, over time it this tends to you know uh, jump a bit with the motor operation so later on i had to secure the support uh, hook with timber screws so uh, once that is done, um, you have to make sure that you install the uh, blinds controller uh, with the proper cogwheel. Now, um, there are a couple of cogwheels in this system. So as you can see, uh, when I open the back of this system, there's a star type cogwheel which came pre-installed. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use that because that's what I have to use according to the instruction sheet for the metal beads. And um, it's a simple task to assemble these actually. And then um, you need to make sure that you fasten the, uh, uh, the controller securely to the support hook and put some tension into it. Not too much, just enough tension so that the motor will operate. Make sure that you don't put much uh, tension into it. You have to enter into the pairing mode. Once you power this up, Press and hold the up and the stop button for about eight seconds. It'll blink fastly the two LEDs, so it's in the pairing mode. Then you install the two year smart app on your phone and then you go through the setup process, which is quite easy and self-explanatory. Find the right device, in this case, a curtain. Provide the wireless credentials and then it'll ask whether you are in the uh, pairing mode. All these instructions are actually in the instruction sheet. And once the pairing is done, it'll allow you to rename the chain controller. Uh, you can give it a meaningful name. So um, based on the location that I installed this, I, I have given it. So it's right now, this is my theater. So I named it as theater window controller. And then uh, it's up to the settings in the app. So you can change the motor direction, which I had to did because in my case, out of the box, up was down, down was up. You can provide the schedule. And there are a few other things like Google Home integration and uh, timer, uh, but you can use this natively using your phone. Now, another thing you have to keep in mind, you have to set the travel length because this will tend to travel indefinitely unless you send the correct travel length. So make sure that you press the up button and stop the travel when the blind reaches the upmost position. Once it's in the desired up position, Press and hold the stop button for about eight seconds so it start blinking. So the red button start blinking rapidly. That means it's ready to configure the travel length. Now once this is in this uh, indicator, when you see this indicator, press the down button so that the blind goes down and let it travel up until you re uh, receive the desired um, travel length. So basically, um, you know, until it closes uh, completely and once it reaches the desired position I don't know uh, for me I need a full close so I've, I've let it fully close and just enough clearance uh, from the timber I just press 
the stop button once. Let's move on to the home assistant piece. So I'm logging into my home assistant instance and there I'm going to configure my Tuya integration. So the Tuya component is a home assistant component. There's a link in the description which allows and which shows you how to uh, configure this, um, the Tuya component. Once you configure the Tuya component, whatever the devices in your Tuya uh, system, so what's in your phone going to be displayed. So I have a couple of devices there. So you can see my um, theater blind controller there, but it gave a default name. So I'm going to change that. So this name doesn't Im impact the name in the app. So I'm going to give it a meaningful name. And that's pretty much it. So I can see uh, after configuring this, it it will be uh, in my home assistant system. I can add it as a button. But one of the challenges I had there was when the home assistant restarts. So if I do a maintenance, um, the home assistant system simply can't find the proper position or the current position of the blinds controller. And if somebody accidentally operates the blinds controller from the wall, from the mechanical switch. Uh, this won't really update the status in uh, the um, home assistant for a while. So in order to avoid that, in my next episode, I'm going to show you how to flash this unit with Tasmoda, which allows you to configure MQTT for messaging with home assistant, where you will have local control in your system and you will have proper status update. So all the close and up um, status will be correctly reflected. So stay tuned for our next episode to see that.